This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm rubbing my, my head, my temples, you know, my, my foreheads. I don't know if you've been thinking a lot, you may be experiencing a lot, overwhelming uh worry you know you're contemplating something my eyes are closed and I'm rubbing my forehead as I'm talking so that I don't know and it's like the sides it's just like the tip top sides of the forehead and I'm using my little finger or whatever anyhow I don't know where that's coming from but anyhow what do we have for Pisces for the month of July what do we have for Pisces for the month of July now we're going to start right here. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Pisces for July? Walking away. So somebody's walking away. Could be you. Could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody is turning their back. Walking away, saying goodbye, okay, I'm just leaving it all behind. So that's the meaning of the card. Nine is closure, so it's time to move on. Uh, two plus seven equals nine. Nines are about closure and numerology. It's, it's, it's uh, definitely reached the end. It's time for somebody to go, and somebody is walking away. So... Looks like this person is is looking back though, but has a smile on their face. Glad to go, happy to go. I'm happy to get the hell out of here. So that's what it looks like to me. What do we got here? We're gonna go with these. Crib. Ooh. Mm. Now, this doesn't mean you're going to give birth to a baby. It could. could be that you're getting pregnant if you're of that age. But if you're older, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So, this is something new. Okay. Pig, beware of greed. Beware of greed, Pisces. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Slowly. Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And I believe that you probably are because I could feel it in my head. There's worry. Bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. So you are going to get ahead. I feel like you're very worried that you're not. But I think that... Uh, and you may have somebody working against you. All right. So keep that in mind. But you are going to get ahead. Okay. Because you don't quit. Right? Um, Peg, beware of greed. So that is your card. This is in your reading. You need to beware of greed. Because greed will bring you bad karma. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So you're going to be starting something new. Prosperity is about to begin. It's coming back. It is going to come back. But don't let it go to your head. What do we have for... Pisces. Nine of Swords Reverse. Extremely fed up. Extremely exhausted. Can't take this anymore. Now we have another nine. Remember I said nines are about closure. It's like I've got, I can't do this anymore. I think that you are extremely worried. You may be having some sort of fears or regrets. Having a hard time sleeping at night. Wondering, worrying about what the future holds. It doesn't do any good to worry. I can see that you're doing a lot of worrying. I can feel it. I know that you are. Okay. So six of cups. Six of cups. So the six of cups is the past. It's nostalgia. It's remembering the past, thinking about the past. 
Six of Cups is memories. It's innocence. It's a reunion. Um, there could be a reunion with, or you're thinking because this is thinking about the past. Mm. This is remembrance. So you're going to be thinking, you're going to be turning your back though on something because you look what that is. It's turning your back perhaps. You know, you're going to, you, you're, you have some sort of memories here that you're, that are uh, haunting you. Oh, the chariot. Now this is moving, which we talked about. You're moving in a new direction. And I think that you're moving very fast. Now the chariot is taking taking the lead, getting in the driver's seat. You are determined. This is a transformation. This is uh, self-discipline and self-control. We have a very hard worker here that is taking a journey. Okay, whether whether you're moving or somebody is moving out of your house, there's, there's movement here. It's moving away from depression as well because this is extremely exhausted, a depressing situation. Um, this is moving. And you're moving towards prosperity and abundance. So, congrats, see where that's headed towards prosperity and, and abundance. So, you're on the right track. Okay, you are. A hangman. Go figure. So, this is, is stuff. This is you. This is Pisces. Could be dealing with a cancer as well, but this is Pisces that is stuck. You must, you're going to be experiencing a, a situation and maybe you have been experiencing it as we speak where you're struggling and you need to surrender. You need to let something go. You're learning some sort of lesson when you get the hey man. You are learning a lesson about hard work, about determination, about uh, it has to do with damn depression and anxiety as well. About the past this is a lesson and this is the past the six of cups is the past what comes before the six of cups is the five of cups a grieving a separation so you're going to be learning some sort of a lot you're learning a lesson right now a new perspective is needed something was done in the past and there's something in the past that is haunting you and i hope that you've learned your lesson now this is a punishment the hangman could be a punishment perhaps and you're struggling. This is struggling with the past. It is. So somebody is struggling with the past, needing to move in a new direction, needing to look at things differently. Thinking about what has happened. Now, the, the hangman can be about probation and parole. You need to take time to go within and think about something about the past okay you need to think about something and I think that's I think that's what you're doing I do think that's what you're doing but somebody is is really struggling to go in a new direction Ooh, the tower no this is a 15 this I don't know why I thought it was 16 this is the devil greed greed so this is greed it is the devil is about greed, and we have beware of greed, beware of materialism. I think a new you need to be be very careful with uh, what your ego, because this is ego, and the hangman is ego as well. So you need to be careful with your ego. You could end up alone. Okay, the devil could. You could. I mean, she's alone. Usually, the devil is two people. I feel as though you are going to be moving in a new direction alone. Alone. You could be dealing with an individual as well that is very egotistical if it's not you. Okay? This is ego. Okay? If it's not you, this is ego. This is um, toxic, unhealthy, materialistic. Somebody is definitely turning their back. They're not interested. They're not... It's about taking back control. Somebody is taking back control. Huh. 
There's a lot of ego and pride and materialism here, though. Eight of Cups reversed. Now, this is pretending to be happy, superficial, and shallow. Now, this is avoiding, refusing to move on, pretending to be happy. This is somebody that is very, very focused on things, okay, materialism, uh, how things look, how things, uh, uh, greed, lust, obsession, drugs, alcohol, addictions. Eight of Cups reversed. Now, this is an apology. There could be an apology that is needed. This is like going back to the past as well. It is. This is go Eight of Cups reversed is going back. Learning a hard lesson about ego. Somebody is going to be learning a lesson about ego. Or they did learn a lesson. Eight of Cups reversed is emotional weakness. Struggling. Struggling with ego. These are Somebody is struggling with their ego. Needing to find the discipline and the determination to look at things differently and go in a different direction. There's loneliness here as well. This is like growing old alone. Growing old Growing old and alone. Somebody may end up growing old alone because of their ego. Yeah, we got the Hierophant here. Hierophant is a higher power. This is somebody that has a divine connection. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Going right here. You could be being haunted by, you know, somebody that is very spiritual. Uh, this is a higher power. This is this is a channeler, somebody that, that talks to God. Okay, this is a godly energy. God, okay, Hierophant represents a higher power or God. Somebody that has access to God. There could be, you know... A need, you know, this is a, this is like a, you know, the Hierophant can be a marriage or a funeral or something to do with a church. But this is, this person is, is access to God. This is a higher power that is. telling you something this is definitely telling you something four of cups four of cups is discontent not receiving attention over analyzing causes this is a lost opportunity we have an individual here that is missing an opportunity for love They're missing out on love, missing, not seeing that what is most important. Hmm. Somebody's not seeing what is, what is most important. There's an opportunity for love, but it's being missed. It's being missed. Because somebody is focusing, they're daydreaming too much. And they're not, there's definitely something about dreams here. I think your dreams, because this is daydreaming and this is like night, can't sleep dreams. There's nightmares or something. Now I'm not sure who you're in. It's about somebody from your past. The past is coming back to haunt you. Or it's haunting you. Something you did in the past is haunting you. This is a higher power that is involved. Now, this is a godly energy, which is probably causing you to think. I have thinking here a lot. Really thinking about your actions. This is about action. It really is. Anyhow, there could be a reconciliation. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there is, but there could be with the Six of Cups, a reunion of some sort. 
Now, maybe with somebody that you're dealing with, you could be dealing with somebody that is reunion, reuniting with somebody from their past. Oh, the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is somebody coming in really fast. It's a need to defend yourself, protect yourself, and have no fear. Have no fear. But this Knight of Swords doesn't seem to be moving very fast. This is somebody that has some sort of information that has some sort of truth because that is the sort of and has the power somebody is coming in that is very honest and truthful this is a warrior this is a protector and it could be you it's coming with the truth somebody is coming with the truth they're speaking the truth they're telling the truth This is a protector of some sort. Look at that sword, it's huge. <laughs> this is a very powerful individual. There is somebody that is very powerful, that is on a mission, and then you notice it's, it's pointing up at the hanged man. Somebody is on a mission. They are on a mission to enlighten you. Okay, you are going to be enlightened. And this could be the law. Okay, this could be the law. It could be a police officer. It could be a parole officer because this is probation and parole. I don't know who it is. Uh, this is... Uh, could be a lawyer. Did I say that already? I don't know if I did. Pointing up at the hangman, somebody's about to be enlightened by an individual who has some sort of information that uh, cuts right through. It, I mean, that is a sword. That is a sword that cuts. That is the truth. Somebody has some sort of information. Three of Wands reversed. I mean, upright. Sorry. I don't know why I said reverse. Three of Wands. Because retrograde season and I can't speak. Anyhow, Three of Wands is about moving forward, hoping for the best, focusing on the future, leaving the past behind, having no fear. Maybe this is you taking your power back. Taking your power back. You're moving forward. You're moving. You are moving or somebody is moving. You're, there's going to be a change in your residence, I think. Somebody is moving. This is praying and hoping for the best, focusing on the future. Somebody is, is, is moving, okay, with that and this. They're moving. Definitely walking away, leaving something behind. Ace of Wands. This is, an, this is a new opportunity that says just go for it. It's a new spark. All of a sudden, things change. All of a sudden, and this is like an entrance. Usually the Knight of Swords is moving fast, but this one isn't. So somebody has thought. They have thought about a new beginning. They have. This isn't something that happened overnight. Okay, this is a thoughtful approach. It is. Somebody is, is definitely uh, thought about their next move. And they're about to make that next move. Now this Ace of Wands is, is a new spark. A, a new uh, path, perhaps. A new drive. There could It's like this is a new, a new vision. It says to just go for it. You're going to be moving in a new direction. This could even be, for some of you, a new sexual partner coming in. Okay? 
happens all of a sudden because there's some sort of lust here as well. This is this is this is this could be a new sexual partner that is coming in. Um, could be Capricorn, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Taurus. Um, but this is taking a new approach. It really is. You're going to be taking a new approach. You're moving. Somebody is moving, and they are moving towards somebody that is. very logical this guy is logical smart intelligent but this is also information you're going to be receiving some sort of information that helps you to break free from because oh, you see that hey man you've been stuck in a situation something is going to happen that breaks you free from a situation that uh, wasn't making you happy at all it wasn't. You do have a new exciting opportunity that is being given to you. They're giving you the power. They're giving you the power to start over, to start fresh. You're going to be starting fresh this month. I think you're going to be going your own way. I do. I think you're going to be choosing to be alone or whoever you're with is going to be choosing to be alone or somebody has made a decision to go their own way. Somebody may be reconnecting with somebody from the past. Maybe it's the person you're with. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think somebody is reconnecting with somebody from their past. It could be the person that is walking away from you or you're something like that. I think that um, you should be uh, or you're going to be moving or they're going to be moving. Somebody's moving. And I think it happens all of a sudden. There may not be anything to celebrate. I just cut it to the Three of Cups reversed. This party is over. This is parting ways. There's been a lot of gossiping. You, there may have been a bunch of uh, nasty women that were causing problems. But there's nothing to celebrate and there's, there's, there's parting ways. There's parting ways with somebody. There definitely is. This party is over. It definitely is over. So be prepared to receive some sort of news or information or something that breaks you free. Something It's going to break you free from a situation that you have been stuck in. You've been trapped in this situation. This is an exciting opportunity for growth and to go your own way. You're going your own way. That's what I see. Good luck. You're going to be presented with an, with an opportunity that could really, really grow. Okay? This could really grow. Because the Ace of Wands is, is a new opportunity that can grow very fast. It can grow fast. So get prepared to be, you know, given an opportunity to... Maybe it's honor your own truth or something like that. You're moving. You're moving in a new direction. There's no doubt about it. You are. I feel like you're moving away from somebody perhaps that controlled you or something like that. For some of you, you have somebody coming in that is really going to excite you as well. Especially if you, have a, if you are a female Pisces. This is your knight in shining armor. It really is. This is somebody who is very smart, very protective, and uh, is going to be very attracted to you. 
if you are the masculine maybe then it's probably you that is coming into somebody's life okay this is a fresh start this is a fresh start somebody coming in they have thought about it for sure because this night doesn't happen to be rushing somebody has definitely thought about this new beginning and they're taking it they're doing it so there is definitely a new beginning here this is somebody that you know is facing their fears it's like they don't even they're 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 going to do whatever it takes to prove themselves so i think that you are closing out something because of that walking away and it looks like you are headed towards something more better more more exciting okay you're starting over you're going someplace else you're starting over someplace else there's travel here as well so some of you may be traveling you may be moving to a no a new place like the at a distance there's distance here And I do feel like you're going by yourself. You know, you're going by yourself. But I also feel like that maybe this is just a new adventure. This could be a brand new adventure. It could be. Anyhow, so I feel like this month you are going to be cut free. You're going to be cut free. You are. From a situation that held you back in some way. I think you've been dreaming about this freedom. I do. I think you're about to get your wish. I feel like it's right around the full moon. And I don't know when the full moon is in, in July. I don't know. I don't even see that here. But that just came out of my mouth. Where is the full moon in these cards? I don't know. You'll have to look that up. Um, but anyway, get prepared. I think it's for a departure. Either you're departing or they're departing. Good luck.